This tutorial covers the notes uh, for assignment 10.5, central and inscribed angles. Uh, now we already went over all of this um, in class, or at least you have all of this printed out for you. I just wanted to, to touch on everything once again. Um, so central angle is an angle with its vertex at the center. So every single uh, circle here has a central angle. And the two sides of the angles are radius or, or radii. So they're there, here, here. Okay, so those are central angles, and that's what this whole page deals with, front page. Um, now, all centrals in a circle, all central angles are going to be 360. So if we added from here to here and that, it's going to be 360. So to get from there to there, we would do 360 minus 84. Um, there's also a relationship between the arcs of a circle, which are 360, and uh, like we just said a minute ago, the angles, which also add 360, uh, add up to 360. So uh, the degree of an arc formed by a central angle is going to be congruent to that central angle. So what, I, what that means is, since this angle is 84 degrees, the arc that is formed by this angle is going to be 84 degrees. Uh, so here, I just wanted to demonstrate that arc ADC, um, this one right here. Um, we, would, we would derive that answer. We would take 360 because that's all the way around the circle. Subtract this arc right here, 84. It's going to give us 276. Um, all right, so now we get into these problems here. Um, now, for one through three, it's uh, either gonna give us the central angle or the arc formed by the central angle. And we are going to tell which angle or arc corresponds with um, the given arc or angle. So basically for number one, we're given the angle, so we need to name the arc. So FQE, the arc is going to be FE. Okay, number two, um, we're given arc SVT, so SVT, so you can circle it right there. Okay, so the angle that goes with that is going to be angle SQT, right there. Um, right, uh, my major arcs are going to be arcs that are larger than 180 degrees. 180 degrees will be halfway around the circle. So, for example, from ACB right here, that's going to be a major arc. Um, so the major arc for angle 1 right here, there is going to be ACB. All right. Um, number four through seven, find the measure of the arc or central angle indicated. Okay, so these are pretty simple. So we're given angle YWZ. The arc that goes with that will be arc YZ. Um, so it's going to be 120 degrees. LM is the arc we're given in this problem. So the angle that goes with that is going to be um, right here. So 123 degrees is there. Um, number six, the arc is given. So CFD right here. Okay, so we need to find this, um, how many degrees this is, and so it's going to be from there to there. So we add all four of these up. Now, the way we get these 45s right here is 135, um, so this for straight line is going to be 180 degrees. So we do 180 minus 135 to get 45, which is what we have right there. These two are vertical angles, so they're both 45, so we add all three of these up, and then um, that's going to be the answer. All right, number seven, uh, it's asking us for the measure of... SPQ, which is this angle right here, okay? So we just need to figure out what these two angles are right there and add them to 86. The way we do that, since it's 360 all the way around and we're given everything except these two angles, we're gonna add these three angles up, subtract from 360 and divide by two since those two are equal to each other. So 86 plus 154 plus 60. Okay, that's gonna give us what, 240, 300. Okay, 300, um, so that this right here, 60, and then we're going to divide by 2 to get each of those, 30, so that's 30 and 30, and so then to get the answer, we do 86 plus 30 and 30, well really we can just do 86 plus um, 60, but I just want to show you how to get each of those, 86 plus 60 uh, equals 146. Okay, um, number eight, let's not worry about number eight right now. Um, all right, so here, inscribed angles, you should already have these on your notes. Inscribed angle is an angle with its vertex on the circle with two sides that are chords. A chord is a line that extends from one side of the circle to the other. So it's basically the same thing as a central angle, but the, instead of the vertex being at the center, it's gonna be um, on the circle itself. An intercepted arc is the arc that lies between the end points of an inscribed angle. Okay, so 
arc that lies between the endpoints. So this right here is going to be an intercepted arc, okay? Now there's a relationship between the intercepted arc and the angle um, that creates the intercepted arc. Just like the same thing here, there's a relationship between this angle and the arc formed by it, same thing, except they're not congruent. Um, the degree of the inscribed angle is equal to half of the measure of its intercepted arc. So if this right here is 40, this right here is gonna be 80. Um, so it's a angle of, measure of angle ABC is gonna be half measure of AC. Um, or you might also see it like this, um, two times AC is going to equal uh, measure um, of ABC. Uh, or I'm sorry, two times, this angle times two will equal that. So I'm gonna also write that. So two uh, measure of angle ABC equals measure of arc AC. All right, because some prob problems down here, sometimes you're gonna be given the angle. Um, if you're given the angle, you're gonna divide it by, uh, by two. And if you're given um, the, I'm sorry, if you're given the arc, you're gonna divide it by two to get the angle. If you're given the angle, you're gonna multiply it by two to get the arc. All right, so here, I'm intercepting a diameter. Measure of angle of BAC is what we're looking for. So this right here, this is, this is gonna be a diameter, so that's gonna be 180 degrees. That means this arc is 180 degrees. So when we're given the arc, um, we divide by two. So hold on, given, you might wanna write this on your paper, given arc, divide by two. If you're given the angle, multiply by two. So here, we're given the arc, so we're gonna divide by two, 180, divide by two equals 90, okay? Now there's also overlapping arcs. So what that means is if we have an arc that um, has two angles that correspond with it here and here, so this angle creates this arc, this angle creates that arc, and this is gonna be congruent to that, all right? So the measure of angle ACD will be the same thing as measure of angle ABD. All right, so number nine. All right, so again, if we're given the arc, divide by two, given the angle, multiply by two, so we're given the arc, so 62, divided by two, is 31. Um, here, we're given the angle, so multiply by two, 113 times two, is 226. All right, um, and now here, arc BC, all right, so we gotta do a little extra work here because this whole entire arc right here is 180. Okay, so we're gonna, since this is 180, we're gonna figure out what this arc is, and then we're gonna subtract it from 180 to get this, okay? So remember this whole thing right here is 180. All right, so 47, we're given the angle, multiply by two, so this right here is gonna be 94, and then this part right here, 180 minus 94, equals 86. Okay, all right, we're 12. We've got JKL right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna determine this arc right here. And we're gonna do that. So the whole thing's 360. We do 360 minus 65 minus 55. Or I'm sorry, 53. And that gives us 242. Okay, so this right here is 242, and we're gonna divide 242 by 2, and that's gonna give us 121. All right, and number 13. Um, we've got 41 degrees is RST. So if this is 41 degrees, that means that this right here is 82 degrees. Okay, so we're looking, I'm sorry. 41 degrees is the answer, but I gotta show you how to get it. All right, so to, we need to figure out what this arc is right here, and then we're gonna divide it by two. So we would do 360 minus 75 minus 139 minus 64 equals 82, and then 82 divided by two is 41, All right? PQR, angle PQR, right there. Okay, that's gonna be 90 degrees, um, because this is right here is 180. So 180 divided by two equals 90, All right? And then the last two, um, measure of angle J is going to be um, in the measure angle K. So what this means is if we have a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle, the opposite angles are gonna be supplementary, add up to 180. So all we do, this one's pretty simple, um, to get this angle, 180 minus 92 equals 88. Which angle J is 88. 
And then 180 minus 45. So 35, saying okay, this is 135. All right. And then we got a measure angle V, um, W and, and X. So what we're going to do here is we need to determine, um, let's just, sometimes you just want to figure out um, what all you can solve and you just want to list everything. So what can we determine here? Well, if this is 51, then we know this whole arc right here um, is going to be, we'd multiply it by two. So that's going to be 51 times two equals 102. And then 102 minus 67 is going to be, what's that, 40, 35? 35, okay, so that's 35. Right, and then this whole arc right here, um, that's going to be. We can figure out this arc: 360 minus 101 minus 67 minus 35 equals. Um, so that's what 168 and 1 uh, 203, 203, 360 minus 203 equals 1. 57. All right. I guess I could have done it this way. Just double check. 258. I think that's right. 67, 35. 102. Right. Yep. Just double check. 101 plus 168 is 203 minus. Yep, that's right. Yes. Okay. So now, angle V is going to be 35 plus 157 is 2 or 192 divided by 2. That's going to be 200, 196. Okay, so angle V is 96. Um, angle W, that is going to be, well, since that's 96, we can say 180 minus 96 is angle 84. Okay. Um, and then we can easily get W. W because 180 minus 51 is 1 third 29. Okay, because remember, ultimately, we're using this, so those two are supplementary, and those two are supplementary. I just wanted to demonstrate how you can just, there's multiple ways to solve these problems.